Trump News Republicans lost George Santos' seat Foolish woman Trump rages, Trump criticized Republicans in Motsi Melissa Pillip, calling her foolish following her defeat in the special election for New York's 3rd Congressional District at the hands of Tom Suosi, a Democrat, following the expulsion of disgraced former GOP Representative George Santos from Congress following his conviction on numerous fraud charges. Swozy defeated Pillip on Tuesday night to assume the seat that had been empty, the loss. Significantly erodes the Republican Party's tenuous House control and gives President Joe Biden and the Democrats a boost before the general election in November. Pillip is a Democrat in government as a Republican, but Trump implied in a Truth Social post that she lost the election due to her pursuit of the former president's support, that possible that she was still a Democrat, albeit Republicans fail to understand. I just watched this very foolish woman, Motsi Melissa Pillip, running in a race where she didn't endorse me and tried to straddle the fence. If she understood anything about modern-day politics in America, she would have easily won. I have an endorsement success rate of almost 99% in primaries and a very good number in general elections, too, Trump wrote. Social media users blasted Republican Rep. Chuck Edwards on Tuesday for reposting an image that falsely accused then-President Joe Biden of being responsible for a massive migrant caravan. Biden was not in office during this period, in 2023, federal border agents encountered approximately 2.5 million migrants, surpassing the previous record high from 2022, according to data from Customs and Border Protection CBP. This surge in illegal border crossings continued in recent years and reached a record-breaking high. This meme uses a photo from October 2018, when Trump was president, of a huge migrant caravan outside Arriaga, Mexico, taken by the Associated Press. A picture of Biden pointing at the immigrant picture and the words I did that were part of the internet craze. Hundreds of people responded to Edwards' ex post with many pointing out that the photo was taken before Biden was even in office, on Tuesday. Night, Newsweek contacted Edwards' camp via email to request a statement. The Republican lawmaker from North Carolina's 11th congressional district has long called for stricter immigration policy and more border patrol presence around the country. The chief editor of the Midas Touch Network website and a vocal Trump critic, Ron Filipkowski, took to Twitter to shame Senator Edwards for reposting an outdated photo in his ex-post. After taking this photo outside of Arriaga, Mexico in 2018, Philip Kowski shared it on X. Someone else was president at that time, in my opinion. A.S. Murphy pointed out on X, the movement has been ongoing for decades. I can tell you're simply trolling when you try to put the blame on the present president. You choose to utilize an outdated photo from when Trump was president instead of obtaining a more recent one. This is a photo from 2018 when Donald Trump was president, ex-user Josh Schwerin captioned the AP snapshot he shared, Edwards seemed to respond to critics by defending the meme mishap. Satisfied, the congressman captioned another photo he shared in response to the thread, which depicted a massive caravan of migrants, in contrast, the second picture intensified the criticism, as many on social media pointed out that the location was in southern Mexico, far from the United States border, the bipartisan measure that would have strengthened border security and included aid for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan, in addition to $20 billion for securing the U.S.-Mexico border and changes. To immigration policy, failed to pass in Congress earlier this month due to Trump's pressure on Republicans to scrap the $118 billion package, even though Trump, the Republican candidate leading the pack for president in 2024, criticized the accord as a terrible open borders betrayal of America. His detractors said that the former president intended to veto the measure so he could keep campaigning on the issue of border tensions.